Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about Garage Gate Timer. So, let's look at the example first. Garage Gate Timer When a car arrives, open the gate for 10 seconds. If the car leaves 1 minute, the gate opens automatically. After 1 minute, the gate will be opened when the status is parking paid. That means there will be a sensor that detects the presence of a car and when it gets activated, then the gate opens for 10 seconds. And then if the car leaves within 1 minute, the car opens, uh, the gate opens automatically. And if the car, <coughs> uh, uh, if the car is in the garage for a more than one minute, then he needs to pay the parking. So, if the status is parking paid, the gate will be opened, otherwise it won't. So, for this example, we will use normally open contacts. We will be also using memory bits and timers like pulse timer and off delay timer. So, Let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. So this is an interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, we need to go to the PLC tags, then default tag table. Here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So the first sensor, uh, so the first input is a sensor that detects the presence of the car. And then we have one more input that is parking paid sensor that is also a sensor that detects the parking is paid or not. And then we have one output that is gate that will be a mechanism or any actuator that opens and closes the gate. So this will be an output. So its address will be Q0.0. .0. After that, I will go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will be drawing the ladder logic for this example. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact for a sensor and then I will insert a coil. So this normally open contact will be for a sensor and the coil will be for a memory bit that is M0.0 .0. and then I will latch it here. So I will open the branch at a normally open contact and then close. So I will assign address to it as M0.0. .0. And then when this M0.0 .0 gets through, when this M0.0 .0 gets through, this is M0.0 .0 gets true. Then one more memory bit gets true. So this will be M0.1. So this M0.1 should remain on for 10 seconds only. For that, I will use a timer operation that will be TP. Click on OK. So the preset value for this timer will be 10 seconds. After that, when M0.0 .0 gets true, M0.1 gets true, then one more memory bit gets true, that will be a coil, sorry, that will be a coil, and this coil will be M0.2. So when M0.1 gets true, M0.2 gets true, after 10 seconds, M0.0 gets off, but M0.2 should remain on for 60 seconds. So there will be a delay of 60 seconds of delay. So for that, we'll use another timer T off, click on OK, and the preset value will be 60 seconds. After that, here we will use another network where we will use a normally open contact that will be M0.1 and I will insert a coil here that is a Q0.0. That is a gate. That means this M0.1 is true for 10 seconds. So the gate will be open for 10 seconds. Or I will open the branch. And then 
add one more normally open contact, add one more normally open contact and then close. So this is M 0 0.2 and then this is sensor. sensor. So when M 0 0.2 gets to that is M 0 0.2 that is if uh, this M 0 0.2 is true. So that means if the car returns within one minute the, uh, the gate again opens or if the car comes uh, after one minute then the status should be parking paid. The status should be parking paid. So I will open the branch at the normally open contact then close. So this will be parking paid sensor. So I will just start the simulation click on OK. After that, I will start the CPU, click on OK, and then I will start monitoring. After that, I will switch to project view. So here we need to create a new project. Let's create a new project, click on create. Click on simulation tables and then simulation table 1. Right click here and click on load project tax. So as you can see here, when the sensor gets detected, that means when a car arrives, gate opens, you can see the gate opens. The gate opens and then closes. And then, if the car arrives within one minute, as you can see here, the car arrives within one second, the gate opens once again. So, if the car does not arrive within one second, you can see here M0.2 is true. So, after 1 minute, after 60 seconds, M0.2 gets off. So, here the sensor, when it gets detected, the current will not follow through it. So, the parking page should get activated. So, we will wait for 1 minute. So after 60 seconds, this M0.2 gets off and also here this M0.2 gets off and when the sensor gets detected, that means when the car arrives, gate doesn't open because there should be the parking to be paid. So if the parking is paid, the sensor detects the parking is paid, 
and the car arrives there, the gate then only open. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.